Hello my loves, how are you doing today? I hope that you're good, that your family and your loved ones are healthy, happy and safe. So I'm coming back to you today with another pick a card reading and I just want to inform you as well that private readings are right now possible. I have shared the link to book your own private reading in the information box so you can check it out whenever you want. And uh, for today's reading, you have three options to choose from. You can pick one option or more. The one that is going to be picking your attention the most. And of course, if you would need more time, you can just pause the video, meditate on those options and see which one or which ones are going to be to be today yours to watch. As for me, I'm going to start right away with the first option. Hello, my dear option number one. So if you have chosen the first option or the picture or the first door, welcome guys to your reading. So let's look into what new door the universe is opening up for you. Let's get one first card so that you can get a general message about what is this new opening, this new door that the universe is opening up for you. What is this all about? Let's get one card. Inner core solidity. I'm hearing the first thing that actually jumped at me when it comes to this card is uh, connecting with people, connecting with like-minded people. I feel like there is a very visible and a very uh, important expansion when it comes to your social circle and when it comes to your network. And I also feel like this new door is that I'm hearing, oh my God, it's like um, on that door, it's written support. All right. So the new door that the universe is opening up for you is a door to connect with people that are supportive, that are uh, rooting for you, that are, uh, I'm hearing they're on your side, they're on your team. Uh, and I also feel like it's something that is very important for many of you because maybe you have been in uh, the hermit mode for quite a bit of time or that maybe your uh, connections were not... Uh, or maybe you connected with people that you felt like that you did not resonate with that well. I really feel like there is uh, like some great, great friendships. Uh, I'm hearing for some of you, it could be even that from those people that you're going to be starting to connect with, there is a special person that you're going to be in a romantic connection with. But what I see most importantly is that your social circle is going to go through a very, very important improvement and uh, expansion. And I also feel like you're going to get a lot of invitations. You're going to be included in a lot of different fun things. And I really feel like you're going to see yourself, see your life, see your circumstances in a brand new light. Uh, it, in terms of life, maybe you have been focusing just on what you are supposed to do, on the next goal, on what you are aiming for. But I feel like there is an introduction of diversification in terms of how you live your life on a daily basis. As in from you wake up until you go to sleep, there are a lot of fun things that you are doing day in, day out that make your life really enjoyable, that make your life really exciting. And I, I really feel like this is really what this new door is all about or this new phase that is uh, the universe is preparing for you. And uh, I'm hearing is uh, um, it's almost like an invitation, like the, it's. I, what I feel, it's like the energy of someone being sucked into some, uh, like, uh, almost like an energetic vault or some sort of a new, uh, reality. I don't see that anything is going to be changing in your life, uh, practically speaking, in terms of maybe changing from one place to another, or, uh, I don't see that, especially when it comes to this message. Maybe if you pick other piles, you're going to get other messages. But in here, the most important thing is that even, in your place, in the life that you are living right now, there is going to be, uh, I'm hearing you are living almost in a new reality within the reality that you have been living in. So really, I feel like there is some sort of, um, almost like when you, uh, when water is contained in uh, like a cup and then it's spilled all over like a very vast space. This is what I see for you. I really feel a very beautiful expansion and also a diversification on your daily uh, experience. This one, I did not want to get it, but it was part of this deck for some reason. So what is this? Um, so it says in here that it is Mercury, uh, this line that you can see in here in this ball. Maybe I'm going to be picking up 
uh, from this deck also for the other options it's been ages since i have been since i have looked into this deck which is very interesting so this line in here in the palm um, uh, I don't know what it's called in English, but uh, chiromancy, uh, I don't know what it's called, but uh, it signifies the uh, Mercury uh, point, uh, which is the line of the heart. It's also um, associated with the line of Apollo uh, or the line that touches health and vitality. Uh, uh, when it comes to this particular a message and how you, it relates uh, to this uh, card i really feel like this new phase is going to be having a kind of repercussions on other aspects of your life your energy level is going to be up your health is going to improve your uh, i'm hearing even your face if you have uh, as an example um oh wow if you have like certain uh, pigmentation uh, issues or if you have uh, like um, if you look pale or if you look as if um, you are dehydrated if you feel like there is something stuck out of you I feel like uh, in this phase or maybe this those changes are going to be uh, also implementing you with beautiful uh, levels of energy and you're gonna almost like I feel like that your cheeks are gonna get plump are, are gonna get rosy you really are going to be in a brand new even physically it's gonna show it's gonna show that you are having fun it's gonna be very effortless and easy for you to just smile with for no reason uh, I really feel like there is great introduction and uh, strengthening also of a lot of fun things that you're going to be starting to practice and be part of. Let's get some more cards. Yeah, this is the card of the hard worker. <laughs> All right. And you're getting out of this phase of doing what you need to do. Like, uh, you know, with those blockers that... Uh, uh, we put sometimes on um, horses so that they can go just straight and not look uh, left or right. Those blinders are getting, uh, I'm hearing they're popping off uh, out of your face and you're going to start to look left and right. Look at what uh, fun things are around you, what uh, like great things that uh, should be experienced and looked into. And I also feel like it's it's uh, it's within a group. There are there is great emphasis in here about uh, being in groups, being within people really that are fun and exciting. I also feel like in here there is a change of scenery. So you could travel with those people. You could be invited into places that you have never been in, even within your city, maybe in your restaurants, trying new cuisines. I really feel there is great, great expansion in terms of how you experience the current place that you're in. And I also feel like you're going to have a lot of memories for those of you that have, a, as an example, an Instagram account or you have maybe you are on social media. I feel like you're going to have beautiful pictures to post. You're going to have also a lot of uh, people that are going to be like uh, uh, tagging you or there is some sort of uh, very fun and excitable energy around travel around. It could be as a, as an example, just going for a day trip on a weekend and you go to a place that you have never been in, even if it is close to you, maybe, but some p people that you're going to connect to, they're going to know, know about those places, know about how to get there and uh, you're going to join them. They're going to invite you to go there. Two of Swords. So those are the blinders that I have been talking about. Ten of Cups, which is all about community. And Ten of Wands. For those of you that have been contemplating maybe getting into some sort of a physical activity or an activity that is demanding physically, I feel like it's going to be within a group of people. If you are envisioning maybe uh, like starting on your own, it is very advisable here to anything that you do right now, try to include yourself within people because if you feel like, oh, I should do it on my own, I should be on my own, I should do it myself, rethink that, reassess because uh, the, the main f uh, message that uh, is around this new phase that you are entering into is that of being within communities, within groups and everything that you can do uh, alone, you can also do it 
as uh, like with other people along with other people and you're gonna get also better for those of you as an example if you want to start running if you want to start any sorts of activity that is uh, outdoorsy that you feel like oh i would love to start doing that do it with a community this is really something that is very important because i feel like within this community you're gonna connect with such wonderful positive and uh, positively impacting connections that it, it's really going to be not only about the activity but also about the social aspect of it that is absolutely amazing all right so let's get one more card anything else please about the new door that the universe is opening up for you two of cups yeah like-minded people absolutely and i feel like for some of you if you are looking for a partner there's gonna be an opportunity to meet a very beautiful person through this change or maybe through this uh, way of living that you're going to be in in the in the future let's get one more yeah getting out of your home getting out of the comfort zone getting out also of the hermit mode this is like being outside of the confinement of buildings of um things that are stale to the outside the world to where people actually uh, have fun have uh, like a cup of coffee and have a moment where they can just laugh about anything and everything so this is really what i see for you uh, i want to give you also some timelines when it comes to when is this going to be happening but i really feel like you have um a hand in uh, <laughs> speeding up the process whatever the timeline that i'm going to be providing for you right now because i really feel like when it comes to you you already have an eye on something that you want to get into something that you want to try please in uh, look into ways to be with other people with a group of people so this is really something that is very important let's get some timelines 11 11 here it says uh, where is it where is it where is it where is it it says listen to friends so again the social aspect is very strong in here i really feel like with this 11 11 uh, i'm hearing again it's really up to you 11 days it could be as soon as uh, maybe a week from now two weeks from now whenever you feel like you want to start you can start it even like right now when you're watching this reading but i really feel like january is going to be very important number seven yeah it says in here seven days seven weeks it's really very very uh like a short period it's you can like do it even right now uh where is it it says determine oh my god determine the circumstances absolutely so it's all really your decision this is something that is already fixed and open you might feel called into doing something if you're going to be looking on uh, online on what is available you might feel called into something in particular follow that aspiration because i really feel like it's going to be taking you to a very beautiful place uh, and also to meet very beautiful people all right so that was your reading my dear option number one uh, if you would like your own private reading we can book it directly through the website that is shared in the description box so let me know down below how the message has resonated with you i'm sending you lots of love and i will connect with you next time bye hello my dear option number two so if you have chosen the second option or the picture of the second door welcome guys to your reading so let's look into the new door that the universe is opening up for you let's get one card so that we can get a first general message about what is this all about and then we're gonna continue with some tower and oracle cards let's see magnetism attraction oh my god oh my god Ooh. So here we have the number 37, which equalizes number one. Here with this magnetism and attraction, it's like the um, magician card. Uh, and in here, I really feel like if you have been fixating on something, this thing is getting attracted to you. And um, I'm hearing in an astronomical way. It's very, very, very fast. So... Uh, with this magnetism anything that you focus on is getting attracted towards you fast so again depending on who you are on what you are thinking about but i really feel like the next three weeks most particularly whatever the thing that you are focusing on is getting 
closer by the minute. I'm hearing it's getting closer and closer. So with this attraction and magnetism as well, I really feel like you might become uh, at, at a certain point. We're going to look into the timelines afterwards. The center of attention of quite a bit of people. And if you have been maybe uncomfortable in the past, I really feel like you're going to be very comfortable being uh, given, given compliments, being uh, there around people that are um, maybe even putting you on a pedestal, to be honest. Uh, I, I feel like this mermaid energy that is coming from you, uh, first of all, it's something that is uh, you are doing very consciously. And something that you are excelling on, uh, just so you know, <laughs> for those of you that have been uh, working on your self-esteem, on your confidence and being, I'm hearing for this option in particular, you have been very, very practical. Uh, I'm hearing I want to play the game and, and I want to play it right. So whatever the case that, um, whatever the case might be in what you have been identifying as those are the points that I need to get what I want, I feel like you are crystal clear about the next steps that you are making and about how to elevate yourself uh, in the way that you feel like right now it's important for me to focus as an example on my appearance to focus on my money to focus whatever the thing that you are focusing on very strongly things are shifting and they are shifting fast all right so let's get one card from this deck Number one could be very significant. So, this is the card of Mars. It indicates success, uh, reaching, um, pay, like uh, efforts paying off, recognition, uh, uh, creative talents. Oh my goodness. Uh, I really feel like when it comes to this phase, uh, some people call it luck, all right? But you know and I know that there is something else. <laughs> there is this spark of magic, <laughs> all right? I feel like you are doing uh, great. You're doing great. You have understood something about how things are and you are playing your cards right. I also feel like there is some sort of a important milestone that you're going to be reaching. It could be a fitness goal. It could be like a weight goal. It could be also for those of you that have been really contemplating changing your wardrobe completely. But I feel like you just standing is sending a message. This is what I've heard. You just without people knowing anything about you and you can uh, like... Um, uh, translate it in the way that you're going to understand the message just you standing in the middle of a room it's going to be sending a message to people all right look at that it says in here luck in life this is not about luck you know that <laughs> you're doing great so let's see what is this door that the universe is opening up for you it's like you have um stumbled upon a wand and now you're making like uh, you know how to like move that wand to get what you want. This is a very powerful state to be in and you're going to know it and you're going to be also ve be very aware of uh, your intentions, of your focus, because you know that whatever the thing that you are doing and thinking about, this is exactly where you're headed to. All right. This is a very, very powerful place to be in. Oh my goodness, look at this volcano. I feel like you have a kind of um, a higher perspective about how to reach your dreams. It's almost like you see people that are in their everyday life running around trying to make things happen. But when it comes to you, you are elevating yourself from how people do their things or how people think about life or how people think about what they're supposed to do and how they're supposed to reach uh, whatever their uh, goals are. I feel like you are elevating yourself definitely. And I also feel like this is 
you're going to be very distinguishable. Like uh, it's very clear to spot you within a crowd. It's very easy. It's very easy. And I also feel with this volcano, like sexually, uh, your soul, I'm hearing your soul plexus is, has been recharged, has been recharged. It, 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 it's already done. It, it's done. Look at uh, where to put that energy, where to spend it. It's almost like you have money in the bank right now. Look at how you want to spend it. Do you want to spend it on your career or you spend it on your career, also on your beauty? Whatever you want to do, you do it. And I also feel like you have reached maybe a point where you have understood how to recharge your solar plexus because maybe it's because it depends on each and one, every one of us in our bodies, in our uh, like uh, energetic points. Uh, sometimes certain points are more, uh, they get dissipated uh, faster than others. And you have understood that, okay, I need to focus uh, on my solar plexus. And uh, I'm, I'm hearing also uh, your um, third chakra, which is all about your voice, uh, is getting automatically activated, I'm hearing. You're not going to do anything about it. I feel like your solar plexus, just recharging it is going to have an, imp an impact and an effect also on your uh, third chakra. Let's get some cards. What is this door that the universe is opening up for you? The death card. An absolutely transformative phase. King of Swords. And the Three of Pentacles. I feel like people are going to be wanting to collaborate with you, wanting to be around you. You're just going to be, uh, I'm hearing a lucky charm to every person that is going to be encountering you. And it's not something that people are going to be aware of or understand, but it's just a feeling that is, um, I'm hearing it's obvious to them that when they are around you, beautiful, positive things happen. And also I really feel like people are going just going to have, um, you're going to have positive experiences with people or people. It, it's not just people. I, I'm, I really feel very strongly like collaborations. People want to, um, uh, like collaborate with you uh, in your career. People want to hire you. People want to maybe sponsor you if you have maybe a social media account. People want to uh, like uh, support you. But this is really something that is not necessarily uh, like casual friendly. But I'm here also like professional. Professionally speaking, people uh, are going to want to be around you and be part of this wonderful and uh, excitable energy that you are emanating. Let's get one more. Let's get uh, here. We want to just get some timelines. Gemini. It says in here three weeks, three months. And the other card, it says. It says listen to friends. And it says in here, uh, look for a. I think it's look for a center, but let's. Seek the change. Let it happen. I'm hearing. Let it happen. Let it happen. I feel like you're gonna, uh, right now, even right now, or maybe recently, you have been, uh, it's almost like this energy of this volcano that is bubbling up under the surface. Something is bubbling up. Let it, let it all out. L let it happen. And I also feel like in here, if you want something, there are certain things that are going to happen so that exactly the, the thing that you want to create in your life are going to be uh, allowed and are going to have enough space for them to manifest and for them to be created. I also feel like with this Gemini in here, because Gemini is Mercury, it's all about connections, interactions. And in here with here... Uh, seek advice or maybe hear a friend i feel like uh, don't uh, uh, i'm hearing uh, don't buckle your hands if you feel inspired to send an email to maybe an employer to s if you feel uh, like uh, compelled to connect let it happen let it happen again i really feel like your solar plexus is going to have a deep impact on liberating any sorts of hesitation to connect or to communicate anything that you want. If you want an advice, 
if you want uh, maybe to send your resume, there is going to be absolutely no problem for you. You're not going to even think about it. You're going to just pick up your phone, pick up your laptop and do it. And I also feel like in here, the message to take out of this uh, spread really, it's something that you understood, but maybe it's something that you are doing. This is what I wanted to say. But for some of you, it might be just accidental or maybe not something that you are very much aware of. Please focus on recharging your solar plexus. I feel like right now it is, I'm hearing it's recharged. Keep it in mind. Uh, look for things to keep it charged or to recharge it over and over again. Uh, look for activities. There are uh, so many. I want to give you one one card. Let's see. How can you recharge your solar plexus? Nine of cups. So with this uh, four of swords, I see a relaxing service in whatever way, shape or form that you think um it translates to you for some of you it could be massage for some of you it could be like doing your nails any activity that is involving seeking a service that afterwards you feel relaxed but it has to be someone that does something to you even without having to pay anything it could be just something that you find online or maybe a service that is provided uh, by your company or your, your university whatever the case might be that um there is someone that provides a service and that uh, you are benefiting from that service. It is helping you recharge uh, your solar plexus. The second thing is walking in nature. Walking in nature, for some of you, it could be specifically hiking because here we have a mountain. Here we have uh, like a man that is uh, starting uh, to go up the mountain with a stick in his hand. So hiking or maybe physical activity in a natural place or in a park or in a place that uh, where there is nature around you all right that was your reading very very exciting reading my dear ocean number two if you would like to book your own private reading you can book it directly through the link that i share in the information box let me know down below how the messages resonated with you i'm sending you lots of love and i will connect with you next time bye Hello, my dear option number three. So if you have chosen the third option or the third picture of the, the third <laughs> door, welcome guys to your reading. So let's look into what door is the universe opening up for you. Let's get one first message so that we can get an overall idea on what is this all about. And then we're going to, of course, complement with some tarot and oracle cards. So what is this door all about, please, for my dear option number three? Oh, this one. Dark matter excuse me mystery we have here 38 which equalizes to number 11 or number two mystery dark matters for some of you, you are creators for some of you, you are writers for some of you, you are gonna find the conduit through which you can express a creative side that maybe you haven't been tapping into for quite for at least for quite a bit of time or something that you felt like it was just a hobby that is going to be transforming to a possible business or a possible um, uh, like endeavor that you're going to be pursuing. So again, for some of you, it could be even like singers, um, artists, generally speaking, I see uh, like a lot of artists vibes out of uh, this card and i also feel like you're gonna be mixing i'm hearing spirituality with creativity so you could be even inspired by spiritual beings and um, you might be inspired by certain things that you feel like they're almost outside of you uh, with this dark matters you're going to be accepting the mystery of the journey that you are uh, like like uh, on right now and you're gonna start looking at things differently i'm hearing so for those of you that are, as an example, writers, you might be actually finishing your book, looking for uh, like an agent to represent you, looking for avenues for publication. I feel like there is a level up when it comes to something that was a hobby and getting up to a level in which is going to be absolutely like uh, actually uh, a business or actually something that is very, very serious. All right. Mm, let's see uh, from this deck 
What is this all about, please? What is this door all about? So those lines here, let's see what they represent. Okay, they are called the sister lines. And um, uh, they are, uh, I'm hearing there, uh, I'm seeing, <laughs> I'm reading there, strengthening the line of life and also energy, vitality um, and uh, health. Yeah. Uh, I feel uh, that it says in here, uh, if present in both hands, they indicate an artistic talent. Oh my goodness. And, um, oh, 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 okay. It's about Venus. Yeah, Venus is all about creativity. It's all about something that is almost outside of you, something very magical. And I feel like there is great protection that is coming out of this new endeavor that you're going to be pursuing. So just relax yourself. Don't feel like you need to do more than you are supposed to do. Uh, I really feel like in here uh, is very important for you, uh, what I'm hearing, to focus on your health. Even if sometimes we feel like uh, we have a lot of different aspects of who we are and they're all disconnected as in, as if we are fragments of who we are. But I really feel like you taking care of your health is going to have a direct impact on your creativity, on your energy levels, and also on uh, the um, uh, development of this endeavor that you are pursuing. So, wow, this is actually something that might be a bit woo-woo for some of you, but this is really what I see. I feel like you are getting messages from other entities. In here also with this hermit, please, uh, when you start to embark on this creative endeavors, for those of you that are writers, that are songwriters, whatever the case might be, to have a prayer before and after. Because I really feel like there is... Uh, a knowledge that is outside of you that you are tapping into as you can see in here like someone they have uh, like something that they read from and the other person they are listening oh wow so what is this door in, like uh, any practical direct details about this door what it entails what is this door all about please seven of swords the tower the page of swords i'm hearing a mix or include spirituality within your practicalities Oh my goodness. <laughs> With this seven of swords, I really feel like sometimes we think that there are certain things that we produce ourselves, but in many cases, and also like many artists, they have confessed at certain point that there were certain energy that they have tapped into, or maybe it's almost like they have written it, but they haven't written it. I'm just taking the example of the writer. And uh, the page of swords is that of the listener is that of the observer and instigator and with the six of uh, cups i really feel like there are some positive energies around you that uh, are eager to get included within the creative work that you are right now embarking on with this tower i really feel like you're gonna start looking at things very differently uh, for those of you that have maybe some sort of an artistic block or maybe you have uh, like um uh been thinking or maybe rethinking your intentions or maybe your endeavors and where they're gonna be taking you i feel like there is a great uh paradigm shift or some sort of a very important transformation that you are gonna go through it's not something that you're gonna share and of course i don't invite you or maybe advise you to do it with this dark matters and mystery 
but it's something that you're gonna utilize all right uh, when is this gonna happen please nine and the libra let's see what it says uh, okay number nine it says something is coming to an end and with this libra it says enjoy your time I really feel like there are some first of all this option you are very spiritual and you are very um i'm hearing in tune with the the frequencies that are around you it's almost like a radio you can capt certain information that is around you and that is transmitted by uh, positive uh, entities that are around you i feel very good with this energy there is nothing for you to worry about uh, and with this number nine i really feel like if you have been um working on something is gonna end faster than you think faster than you think with this number seven right next to the tower card i really feel like there might be at a certain point uh, an important uh, redirection complete redirection in your life so if you are as an example working on something right now maybe you're going to be interested in something completely different afterwards especially because you're going to be following those inspirations I feel like seven months from now there is going to be a culmination to this process in here it says seven weeks to seven months i see that for uh, most of you it's seven weeks but also it could be seven months depending on where you are on this process and i see that for many of you are very different some of you have just started to look into this process for others of you have almost finished and i feel like this is where uh, you're gonna be uh, maybe seven weeks to seven months let's get one uh some more cards anything else please about number seven generally is very important when it comes to you in this process generally speaking ace of pentacles almost like something that is outside of you is giving you something all right and people might not understand this but you do of wands yeah being receptive allowing the information to come to you uh, i'm hearing um i'm hearing tune off or turn off the editor turn off the criticizer this is the only thing that i see in here um, don't judge something unless it's finished and then you can tweak you can change you can improve whatever the case might be let the messages come as they are and note them as they are and at the end, you're going to see the bigger picture with this three of uh, wands and you're going to be uh, actually having a bigger idea or maybe a better idea to actually change in the way that is going to be complementing this creation. Because I see that whatever the thing that you are wanting to do, you wanting to write, wanting to create, it's already created. It's just that someone or something is going to be giving it to you. It's almost like this this book or maybe the thing that is written, it's already written. But this entity is like telling you or maybe is reciting what is in this manuscript. All right. So I really feel very strongly that you guys, you are spiritual uh, people and not in a way that you believe or you don't believe. This is not what I see. But you also have like the potential to be tower readers to be uh, because you have this capacity to tap into frequencies that are around you or even those that are not around you. I feel like you are very much in tune with the vibrations and uh, it's almost natural to you to translate them into like a human understanding on of what they mean. All right. Wow. So really, let me know down below how this resonates with you, because this is uh, <laughs> very um, like specific, but 
like this is what I got when it comes to your reading. Let me know down below how the messages resonated with you. If you would like your own private reading, you can book it, of course, through the link that I share in the information box. And yeah, that was your reading, my dears. I'm wishing you all the best, sending you lots of love, and I will connect with you next time. Bye.